Welcome to Sunday, Coffee Sunday. I got a great new mug you guys can see. I went to the Eminem store a while back. But anyways, this is not my favorite color. It's just in the cupboard. I decided to have coffee. But welcome to RJ, Life Coach, Aquarium Enthusiast. First time tuning in the channel. I talk about aquariums. I talk about mental health. I'm a mental health coach, soon to be therapist, going to school to become that. So a lot of things are happening right now. But I often don't show to other tanks in my, not fish room, but tanks that I, I own and I carry. So today, I got to take care of one of my smaller tanks. So this tank right here, you guys can see, is that it's a planted tank, low tech. Low tech means that I just pretty much have low light that came with there. Uh, as a back filter in the back here. And obviously the tree's overgrown, there's a lot of algae in the front, and I'm gonna clean this tank today, and I'm gonna make sure it's nice and healthy. What's in here is, I'm sure you guys later, is I got some cherry shrimp, I got a clown loach, which is usually hiding in the back, you guys can see, because all stuff's growing there in the back. I got a blue beta, and I got um, whip tail. So whip tail's like a small, think about pletco, but it has a small tail, a little bit thinner, and it's tough to whip around pretty fast. So I have a sucker fish in here. So I'm gonna clean this tank. You guys are gonna watch me, and I will be right back. marks the end of our cleaning. You guys can see it's not as chaotic as before. I trimmed bushes down. It's definitely a lot cloudy than it was before and that's totally normal. So I changed about over 50% of the water, fresh clean water, treated water for the fish, for the shrimp to have a good home. And obviously the soil at the bottom. So it looks much more cleaner now. All the algae has scraped off the tank. So you see, it's now good to enjoy. And this is my low tech planet tank. And I love it because it's low tech. So you guys know my name. You guys can leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. But first, always, mental health. I love talking about something brand new. I think the thing I want to talk about is brand new is when you are frustrated with something, what do you do? And that's brand new in my life. I'm very frustrated with the fact I'm not where I want to be right now. Now, about two years ago, and then this has been a pandemic, is... I was a personal trainer. Those that know me, I had a really huge business I was running in Santa Clara, California, but now things have changed. I moved from California to Washington. I'm starting all over, be doing full-time mental health coaching. I'm doing full-time going to school and all this stuff's happening. And I'm frustrated because you know, I look at my finances, they're not where they should be. So what should I do? First thing, those out there going through say financial changes, the first thing you want to do is acknowledge what's happening. I'm frustrated, so I'm going to acknowledge that first. Now, why is Ron frustrated? Ron's frustrated because 
where I used to be and where I am now, this makes sense. I should be up here still, right? I should always be moving forward. Well, sometimes I'm taking a step back so I can get towards my future. And what that really means is that I didn't see myself doing personal training in my 40s. I just didn't want to do it at all, actually. So I'm taking a step back, getting my degree in therapy or psychology, what you guys want to call it out there, so that way I can now pretty much go to where I want to be, right? Quality of life is something about right now. My value has changed down in life. Not all about going to gym and being the biggest and baddest buff person in gym, but quality of life has changed. So we go through things, name entertainment, outline is this on your current trajectory third is in line with your values and right now my current state at my age is line with my values i just gotta breathe and know i'm doing the best thing i can right now so always subscribe like comment even become a client of mine and let's discuss your mental health and how you can navigate whatever challenge you're facing relationships uh finances whatever it is you're facing we can help you i can help you sorry that we we can talk about it and always, thanks for listening.